So in this video we are going to start off uh, using the same numbers and the same graph of PPC that we built in the last video. And now we are going to learn how the ideas of opportunity, cost and choice and perfect imperfect factor mobility, how all these different ideas are captured and reflected by this model of PPC. And I will start off by first of all explaining to you how you can do some simple calculations to calculate opportunity cost either given this table of production possibilities or this graph of production possibilities over here. And these simple calculations are sometimes what you need to do in some of the MCQs. But as I go through showing you these simple calculations, I will sort of... Uh, take the whole discussion in a direction so that by the end of the video you will understand this difference between perfect and imperfect factor mobility and why sometimes this PPC is downward sloping straight line and why sometimes it's a downward sloping curve. Now let me start off with the most simple uh, thing first of all uh, that relates to how you can calculate the opportunity cost from these tables and numbers over here. Now all you will be required to do is that the examiner will simply ask you what is let's say the opportunity cost of moving from point B to point C or making the choice of producing at C instead of B. Now if you see over here all of these are different maximum combinations of apples and cars the only two goods that this country can make. So as you move from option B to C you make 100 more apples but you have to give up or you end up with 30 fewer cars. So the opportunity cost of moving from point B to C and gaining 100 apples is the 30 cars that you give up. And then you can say simply use basic math that if 100 apples cost you 30 cars then one apple that will cost you 30 over 100 or 0.33 cars. Now that is the sort of simple calculation that you need to be comfortable with. Now sometimes you will need to perform this same sort of calculation on this graph of PPC over here. So on this PPC also remember all of these points are different possibilities. Now again the examiner will ask you what is the opportunity cost to a country if it chooses to move from point B or to point C on its PPC. Again you see at point C, so let me write it down, the opportunity cost of moving from B to C. Now at C you have 200 apples, you only had 100 apples at point B. So in moving from point B to C you move to the right and you gain 100 apples. Whereas you also come down from point B to point C, you also vertically come down, that is you give up these 30 cars. So just make sure you can read off these number from the axis, but simple idea is compare the number of X variable apples in this case that you gain with the number of Y variable cars that you give up. And then you can say that the opportunity cost of moving from B to C and therefore gaining 100 apples is the 30 cars that you will have to give up. Again, some simple maths will again tell you that if 100 apples cost you 30 cars, then the opportunity cost of one apple is going to be 30 over 100 or 0.33 cars. So that, first of all, is what I meant by simple calculations either on this graph or through this table where you can calculate your opportunity costs. And now comes the interesting part of the analysis that I want to give you. And that relates to the idea that you see if you pick up these two points B and C, they lie on the straight line. And if I ask you to calculate the gradient of this graph, of this curve between point B and C, then the usual way in which all of us learn the gradient is that look between point B and C, just divide the change in Y with the change in X. That is usually how we measure the gradient of any graph. Here the change in Y is the number of cars that you give up, so we can call it minus 30, you are giving up 30 cars, this is the change in Y, and the change in X is this increase in the X variable, the number of apples by 100, so you divide it by a positive 100. We are just, remember, we are just calculating the gradient here, and the answer you will get is minus 0 0.33. Now this 0 0.33 is exactly equal to what you calculated your opportunity cost of apples to be. And that is what I want you to remember. This will always, always be true that the gradient of the PPC between any two points is equal to the opportunity cost of good X in terms of Y. That is important to remember. 
and that is very useful because you see if you are given a PPC like this over here and let's say you are given two production possibility curves and the examiner asks you in which of these two countries the yellow or the white country in which of these two countries you have a higher opportunity cost of X now all you will need in that question is that look this white line is steeper so its gradient is larger and since gradient is equal to opportunity cost of X then we can say in this white country this PPC reflects a larger gradient and therefore a larger opportunity cost of X whereas this yellow line it is flatter it has a lower gradient and therefore it has a lower opportunity cost of good X in this country reflected by this yellow PPC so again I mean I don't want you to go into the proof of why the gradient is equal to the opportunity cost but uh, you need to memorize it you need to remember this this is a very important tip technique that will you know go a long way in simplifying a lot of MCQs that you will see in your uh, past exams now once we know and that uh, you know the gradient between any two points of a PPC is equal to opportunity cost of good X then let us go back to this imaginary world that we built and if you remember here we sort of implicitly assumed a constant opportunity cost in the sense that starting from zero apples we said that every time this country will try to produce hundred more apples it will have to give up 30 cars next time it wants to produce 30 more uh, sorry 100 more apples it will again have to give up 30 cars and again the next 100 apples it will again have to give up 30 cars that is we assumed constant opportunity cost right as you start from this possibility a with no apples we assumed every time we want more apples you will have to give up the same amount of cars next time you want the same 100 apples you will have to give up the same amount of cars now you see let me write it down if we are assuming that the opportunity cost is always going to be constant then we also now know that opportunity cost between any two points is equal to the gradient of PPC so constant opportunity cost therefore means constant gradient and constant gradient constant slope of a graph remember mathematically all it means is that you are talking about a straight line so the thing to remember is that the PPC will be a straight downward sloping graph if you assume constant opportunity cost that is what will give a constant gradient to this PPC and therefore that you will have a straight line PPC and this assumption of constant opportunity cost in turn means that you are assuming perfect effect mobility that is you are assuming that your country's limited resources are equally suitable to making either apples or cars and therefore you can just always you know achieve the same rate of substitution between apples and cars you just need to throw in these uh, resources to make apples and not cars and you will always get the same rate of exchange but this is not a very realistic assumption because you see of course some of your resources will be much more suitable to production of apples things like fertile land maybe farmers and so on and so forth and some of your resources will be much more suitable towards the production of cars think of your engineers think of your infertile pieces of land but the ones on which you can build factories think of the resources of steel and so on and so forth and that is where we say that look your resources are all different some of them will be more suitable to production of apples some of them will be more suitable to production of cars and that is where we say that your resources are usually going to be imperfectly mobile meaning that you can't just pick up any resource and with closed eyes just throw it either to production of apples or cars you will have to see which resource is suitable for apples which resource is suitable for cars because they are not equally efficient in making both the goods these resources are imperfectly mobile now what does it mean for our PPC well the implication for PPC lies in the fact that if your resources are imperfectly mobile then starting off in a situation where you had zero apples and therefore all resources were busy making cars then when you went for making your first hundred apples and you diverted first of the few resources towards apples 
then of course you would have sent the farmers and the fertile piece of land and you know the machinery that is actually suitable for making apples and you would have kept all your engineers all the metal all the car making machinery all the time making machinery in the production of cars you would have been sensible so first of all you would have been very easily able to make these hundred apples because you would have just thrown in the most suitable resources that you can use to make these apples and you would have you know kept all the resources that are specific to car making in the car industry that is for these first hundred apples you would have given up maybe just 10 cars but then when you decided to make next hundred apples you have already brought in the most suitable resources into apple production so next time you will be bringing in resources which are not perfectly suitable to apple production or you can say you are now diverting resources out of cars which you know were not very uh, sort of useless in making cars they were actually doing good enough in making cars so now you are you know sort of throwing away resources to apples which are more valuable in car production and which are not perfectly made for just producing apples that is to get these 100 extra apples is now going to be difficult or you can say you are now going to have to sacrifice more cars and similarly once most of your resources are busy producing apples and you are you know, saying that you know give me the last few resources i want to use them even to produce apples then you have to you know sort of uh, uh, putting uh, resources such as engineers and specifically car uh, machinery that you are throwing in to make apples you will be able to make apples but now you will have to give up a lot more cars that is if there is this assumption that these resources are imperfectly mobile then this opportunity cost it will increase as you produce more and more apples which tells us that look if your opportunity cost is not constant and it increases then the gradient of PPC will also not be constant it will increase and that is where we say that look it can't be a straight line anymore so how will it look well to sketch it out start from this possibility a where we are saying you have no apples we are saying that when you want to produce your first few apples you will throw in some of the most suitable resources to apple production so you won't have to give up a lot of cars the opportunity cost the amount of cars you will have to give up will be quite small and that will be reflected in a very low gradient initially so this PPC initially will be downward sloping but it will have a very flat gradient that is reflecting low opportunity cost of this x variable but sitting at this point where you already have a few apples and you want to make a certain more number of apples now you are saying that look this time you gradually will have to give up more cars the opportunity cost of apples will increase so your PPC will be downward sloping again and it will become more steep the steeper gradient is reflecting greater rising opportunity cost and you can continue to do that and join these two points and that's what gives you a curved PPC imperfect factor mobility which means opportunity cost is increasing so at this point the gradient of any curve remember is simply the tangent so you have a very flat tangent flat uh, gradient and therefore low opportunity cost for apples at this point since you are already producing a lot of apples your PPC is much more steep its gradient is much more large therefore the opportunity cost of apples is large as well so let me just now sum it all up and highlight the important things that you need to know so first of all make sure that you understand this assumption of perfect factor mobility it simply means that you are assuming that all of these resources are exactly the same they are uniform and they are equally suitable to production of either apples and cars and if you make that unrealistic assumption then yes as you make more and more apples every time you will have to give up the same number of cars and therefore you can say you will have a constant opportunity cost of apples and since opportunity cost is equal to the gradient of PPC if uh, opportunity cost is constant all along the PPC the gradient is going to be constant all along the PPC meaning your PPC will be a straight line on the other hand this assumption of imperfect factor mobility means that you are assuming that these resources are all different some of them are more suitable to make apples some of them are more suitable to make cars and if you take this more realistic assumption of imperfect factor mobility then as you produce more and more and more apples then every time you will have to give up more and more and more cars 
that is the opportunity cost of apples will keep on increasing as you produce more and more apples and since opportunity cost is again equal to the gradient of PPC the PPC's gradient will keep on increasing and therefore you will end up with a curved PPC so starting from this point over here initially your PPC is flat low gradient meaning low opportunity cost of apples but as you keep on moving to the right and make more apples this PPC gets much more steep much higher gradient much higher opportunity cost of apples and lastly on and on a slightly separate note I also want you to remember that whether these PPCs are the straight line or a curve they will always have a negative gradient because negative gradient simply tells you that the x and the y variable are inversely related and in the case of PPC it is just telling you that as you try and make more apples you will have to give up cars and that will always be true that you will always have this negative relationship this negative gradient because of scarcity if you make more of one good you will have to give up the other good so remember in all of this detail that the idea of scarcity is reflected by the negative gradient of this PPC.